Seven blackface spoonbills were released into the wild on Wednesday after recovering from a deadly disease called botulism. Blackface spoonbills are a protected species with a global population of less than 3,000. Last month in Jiayi, conservationists found 15 blackface spoonbills that were stricken with avian botulism. Some of them died from the disease, but seven were nursed back to health. They were sent back to the skies today in Jiayi County. You'd never be able to tell that when this blackface spoonbill was rescued last month, it was on its last legs due to botulism. It couldn't move its legs. Its wings were drooping. Any longer out there in the wild, and it would have had respiratory failure. Last month, a patrol team discovered 15 of these birds floundering in the shallow areas of a fish pond. They appear to be suffering from poison. Conservationists mounted a rescue effort and were able to save seven of the birds. Back in good health now, the blackface spoonbills are freed from their cages. They soar back into the wild. <laughs> The birds had been weakened by botulism. They were given antibiotics to save their lives. In the wild, there are many factors that cause botulism. One main culprit is that when fish die and aren't cleared out fast, they give rise to Clostridium botulinum bacteria. Jiayi County's rich wetlands are home to the largest number of blackface spoonbills in Taiwan, after Tainan's Zhengwen River mouth wetlands. Taiwan plays an important role for the global population of blackface spoonbills. When these birds migrate to Taiwan, Taiwan of course has to take responsibility and ensure the safety. For blackface spoonbills, the breeding season starts in March in South and North Korea. Starting October, adult birds migrate south to spend winter in areas like Taiwan. Half a year later, they return north to breed. Trackers on the birds' legs allow scientists to follow their yearly migration cycles.